In this video, we are looking at the adjustable awning brackets we have made for our Genie. We have titled the video Prototype 1, as these brackets still need to be taken through their paces on some rough roads, and the design may be adapted slightly depending on what we experience. After searching on the web and not coming up with too many solutions that would suit the type of setup we have, we decided we would need to design and manufacture these ourselves. So the best way to do this is to start off conceptually in 3D. So our requirements were that the brackets would need to be attached firmly to the front runner slats that we have on our roof rack. And this would allow the awning to then be cantilevered off the side of the trailer, making allowance for the rooftop tent in its position. We were looking at a skeletal type formwork. We then proceeded to model this up in SketchUp to get an idea of the form and the proportion. We soon realized that with the awning mounted at the height we would need it, the brackets would be quite tall and when driving this would mean that awning would be catching quite a lot of wind. So we rather decided to look at going a telescopic type route. So these are different iterations that we went through. So mounting those brackets onto the front runner slats and that is the bracket in its closed position and then looking at the bracket then in its upward raised position. So that again is just the brackets in their closed position on the trailer. Then once elevated the bracket would then be in its sort of top position. That would allow us enough head height to be standing underneath that awning comfortably. So that was the proposal. We then create cardboard cutouts and from there tried a one is to one scale life size model of it on the trailer to see if the sort of concept seemed feasible and if it would work. From this we decided to bite the bullet and go ahead. So we sent out for laser cutting. We decided to make this out of aluminium to keep it nice and lightweight. And we also realized that going with four brackets would be overkill. We actually only needed two brackets. We also managed to source an awning that would work for us. That awning we decided to go for was an Ironman awning. It gave us a 2 meter width and a 2.5 meter outward distance. And we felt that that was a good proportion for the trailer. We also liked the idea that Iron Man create a completely sealed room with a zip open door that would give us access to our kitchen area and there are other different options that you can actually attach to the awning so you can have the awning just on its own or you can completely close it off as a room and this appealed to us. So once all the aluminium parts arrived we then set about lining up the parts to connect them to each other. Due to bending constraints we actually needed to break the bracket down into more pieces than we would have liked and this meant that we had to carefully sort of punch the positioning for drilling and countersinking so we used countersink rivets to hold the basic form of the bracket together the bracket was then firmly mounted to four mount points on the rail of the front runner roof rack so the bracket has two large bolts going through it. The one is for sliding up and down and it's a locator so that stays permanently attached. So that was quite easy to fit that stainless steel bolt and lock tight it up so that it can't come out. The second bolt is a bolt that needs to be able to be removed quite easily. So to be able to do that we actually 3D printed some knobs uh, for the ends of that so that it's easy to hold and twist off the nylock nut at the end lift the awning up and then slot the bolt through and turn the nut on again so that the bracket can't drop down whilst we're using it. So we set about designing those end knobs and we 3D printed those ourselves and fitted that together and so far we haven't had it come apart or lose parts yet but that would need to be tested extensively on more road or gravel travel that would soon uh, let us know what's happening there and if we need to sort of readjust for that. The next problem we came across was when our front runner rooftop tent was fully deployed we could not use the steel stays to keep the, the awning open over that window because it would have been fouling with the awning. So what we rather did is we created an extension bracket at the top of the awning. We got a, a generic set of glass fiber poles which we cut shorter. And they had the ferrules then that we glued on the ends. We made short stubby little stays that then got fixed with a riv nut to the top of the awning. And in testing this in our last trip this worked really really well. So we have now are able to freely open our side awning of the rooftop tent without fouling with the awning at all. So that was a good positive solution to that 
potential problem. So far the awning mount and the awning brackets are working well. They are very stable on the trailer when driving. There is no movement seems to be happening at all. It is quite easy to lift up and deploy. At the moment two of us are doing it but I think it could easily be done by one person. The only issue we have found is that when attaching the awning room to the awning the side of the awning room closest to the trailer is not able to be pulled nice and taut. This is just a height issue. So what we're going to do is look at the movable part of the bracket and just extend that or elongate that by an inch or two. And that should alleviate this issue. So essentially just lifting it at maximum height a little bit higher so that when the awning room is on, it can be nice and taut on all sides. So we are hoping to be able to go and test this on more rough roads. And if we do make any further changes, we will then create an update video on that. If there are any comments or questions you might have or ideas that you could share with us that we could try, please leave some comments below. If you'd like more updates on when we do make changes to our trailer setup, please subscribe and then you'll get notified of those updates. Thank you for watching.